How's it going, people? Well, another one of my childhood television idols is gone. I don't really guess he's an idol. He's just somebody I used to watch. But according to the news today, Peter Falk is dead. Um, in case some of my younger people don't know who he is, he played a detective on television by the name of Columbo. Used to have a great big old white cockatoo bird. And that was the main reason I actually liked watching the show. Because <laughs> the guy, honestly, to me was, at times, he was a little on the boring side. <sighs> Not that I'm all that exciting to watch most of the time myself, but it was boring. Um, of course, I didn't really have a whole lot of choice in watching them. Um, I never really got to control what channel it was on or anything else. That was actually one of my grandmother's things. She'd watch Columbo and uh, Quincy. Emergency, which I actually liked that one. That was uh, about some paramedics uh, in the firehouse. Um, Adam 12. Cop show. I'm trying to think of some of the other ones that we used to watch. Hazard, but that was when we actually got to control the TV, we got to watch that. Um, anyway, there was quite a few of them. I guess it kind of makes you question your own mortality when, uh, And all the people you used to watch as a kid on television that aren't all that much older than you are dying off. Now, I loved watching the show. Even though it was kind of boring, there was other interesting stuff on there. I know another one. Uh, Rockford Files with uh, James Garner. That one I liked because of his Trans Am. He had a 1978, I believe it was, gold Trans Am. And it didn't look like the V8 that it was. It was actually dressed up to look like a six cylinder. But I thought it was kind of neat because he'd rip and tear through the city and um, of course, any of them that had a car in it almost instantly had my attention. Um, one that was out when I was a teenager that I used to watch was, uh, what was the name? Vegas was the name of it. Um, I can't even think of the guy's name that starred in it. But I used to watch that one because... At the time, I actually had a, a thing for the 60s era, 60s and early 70s era Mustangs. Now, I still like that body style, but they had the car stuff and the story stuff that went along with it. I also liked the A-Team, mostly because of the van and the little... Uh, gimmicky gadget type vehicles they came up with on a spur of a moment. 
but <laughs> MacGyver was an, another one. Um, I don't know, it's just, I'm 41, I'll be 42 in two months, and I know people don't live forever, and Lord knows I'm probably not going to, I'll probably be lucky if I make it past 60 at the rate I'm going, but kind of, it kind of makes you put things in perspective a little bit, it makes you kind of reflect on your own life a little bit, and I mean, all the people that I grew up around as a kid, uh, the older ones are all dying off, good people, really good people, good friends, people that I went to high school with. Several of them have died. Um, I believe we lost, I think they said that we lost a total of six at the last reunion in uh, 2008. And two of them were uh, natural causes. Of course, a couple of them died before high school was over with and never got to graduate. But now that I'm getting older and the people are dying off a little bit faster, it kind of makes me question if I've done everything in my life to my satisfaction, to where if I died today, would I be happy with the way I've left my family? I'm not preaching, not even trying to. I'm not trying to teach a lesson with this either. Just making a statement. It kind of just that it, it makes me question everything. Now, I'm going to leave it there. And I'd like to know are there things in your life that come up? whether it be on a regular basis or just a rare occasion that make you question your mortality. Comment away. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.